All right, welcome back. It's been a while, but I was busy and now I'm not, so let's begin. So last thing we did was making the character move. Now what we want to do is interact with the environment. So I got like three boxes that I made here. One's like called medium boy, big boy, and boy, boy. And what we did was, um, we made each one have a different collision so two of these are enabled this one's not enabled so you'll see the difference with that later on and what we're gonna do is we're gonna detect from the point that we were looking at all the way to where the camera is looking at and we're gonna create a line and anything the first thing that intersects with that line will be the object we're gonna look at so this is called an intersection or if you're from another game engine it's called a ray casting so we cast a ray between two points and find it so there's a few different types world physics and game we're gonna use one of them all right main character connected it and I had um, a property parameter called it pointer node which is basically the dot that is following around the uh, camera or the character is the dot that we're looking through or looking at would be the better name all right and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna code it up so what I have over here is the same initial initialization update we got one property parameter got two protected uh, functions and then we also have one intersection pointer from world and I just called it ray pointer so to begin what we're gonna do is first we're gonna make um, we're gonna initialize the ray pointer. We're gonna call it. Uh, let's go into Unigen World. Get inters. No wait, my bad. That would be the other thing. It's gonna be Unigen World intersection, and then we're gonna create the uh, smart pointer for the ray pointer as long as this, this code has been called it's in the scope of the class as long as the class is called this thing is going to exist and it's going to destroy itself once it destroys itself so smart pointers they did the hard work for us so we don't have to do too much so what we're going to do is it's literally just one line of code and you guessed it it was the world intersection from game so before we even do that what we need is a unigen object pointer and we're gonna call this uh, um, intersect object it's better if I just call it I object I object yeah that's uh, that looks nicer so we're gonna go to unigen world and then get intersection and you'll notice it has about like a few different overloads. We're gonna use one of them. And the one we're gonna use is right now, uh, it's gonna be between two points. So if I just press question marks, it'll tell you it's gonna be between point zero to point one, the mask number, and then the pointer itself, which is our ray pointer. So, so how do we do this? And then, so first, Let's add the ray pointer, which is the ray pointer here. Okay, the mask number itself uh, that we want is actually the bit mask that we have these objects in. So by default, all uh, intersections are enabled and the mask number is one. So right here, it's one. So we're just gonna use one to keep it easy for us if you know your bit masks you can definitely do your bits bit sets other than that not really needed so how are we going to do this we're going to have the two points so first things first we're going to have the points that we're uh, um, starting with and in our case i made it a little easier i made my own little parameter and i just did the camera follow itself so that's going to be my point that i'm going to start from so we're going to do a pointer node get just press tab and then use the arrows and get world position all right and that gives us the first point next the second point would be the camera itself and we're gonna look through it so 
we're gonna do a Yun Engine. All right, we're gonna do a game. Get player. That would be the main player that we're working on. Now, if you're thinking of changing a player, I would recommend you to do another node and connect the player, the specific camera you want. But if it's going to be the same camera for the whole of the game, you don't need to do this. So we're going to do this. Then we're going to get world direction. And we're going to specify the direction. Now, by default, it's on NZ. And actually that would be the direction we want because when we look at a camera in Unigen if I were to click uh, here when we look at a camera in Unigen it's actually positioned in a very different way compared to what it's supposed to be so when we look at a camera in Unigen the NZ or the negative Z axis is the axis which we use to look or like is the viewing axis while the positive Z is actually looking away from it and the Y is the up now it's a little weird but it's for projection matrices and uh, doing a lot of the focal calculations and stuff it's a little easier for simulations so that's why we're gonna use the default NZ which it is and then we're just gonna times it by 100 because we want it really far away okay and that's gonna be the line and that's it that's going to be our thing so uh, what what can we do with this so now that we have it all created let's uh, let's use these boxes and what we're gonna do is any object so any of these objects that gets caught inside this line we're gonna get its name so whether the ground or this guy and let's write that so we can do is an if uh, I object so if it exists because if it doesn't exist so let's say there's nothing being touched it's gonna return null or it's gonna be empty and uh, not null it's gonna be empty so if it exists uh, let's uh, for now let's do something simple unigen console nope constant expression console message and we're just going to do a simple uh, name and then we're going to do a percentage s forward slash n so new line comma and then we're going to do the uh, i object all right dot get so now we have the object and then we get its name All right, and I believe that's everything for this line. Let's try it out. So now we have, all right, so now we have the dot. So between the dot and 100 meters away, anything that catches it will be used as its name on the top left corner. So now we got the medium boy, we got the boy, we got big boy, we got the ground, and the intersection is not too bad. Uh, let's see, not too bad. And if we were to go, you can see there's a little bit of inference, but it's almost like a millimeter difference. But so far, it's not bad at all. It's accurate. And now, just to show you the collision, the physics is not going through, even though the dude is clipping through. So we are going to do something later on afterwards. Meanwhile, for this guy, there was no clip and now we are stuck inside our dude so now we have a detector so now we can detect objects in our game boy big boy ground and everything all right so that's it for this episode next week what we're going to do is uh we're going to use this type of coding to interact with our environment and probably make like a shooter or something so anyways thank you guys for waiting sorry it took this long but i had some obligations i had to do so anyways i'll see you guys next time goodbye